Uh, can I have a motion to start the meeting? Motion to start. Uh, p.m. Yeah. Okay, so a little rundown of what's been going on. Uh, basketball is over for everybody. Um, it was great. We had great numbers for the littles, and then first and second grade, they had two great teams. Um, they were able to get together and have a little party at the elementary school for their last kind of scrimmage. They scrimmaged each other, which was super cute. And then Paul Koza actually bought a basketball for every single child, which was awesome. Um, so they're all highly anticipating, I think the parents more than the kids, of T-ball starting. So my tentative date um, for T-ball, which I'm jumping down a little bit, but um, will be the 13th of April um, at or nine. We'll still have the same time. Um, so do you want to start that? That's school break week, isn't it? Like it is. Doctor? Yeah, okay. I've spoke to everybody. And okay. They, they're all about it. And there's only two families that can't come. And then they said they'll just get the T-shirt the okay. next that they come so okay good i figured you knew it was and that you know you had talked to people as you did i just, just wanted to make sure the coaches basically were available right you know right. i don't want to say start um and then they're gone and you know it's right. and then the weekend before i was gonna do but then um i didn't want to put too much on that saturday because that's also the the sixth is the day that people are coming to pick up their bibs for the race oh. So I didn't want to be like putting too much at the school. Right. right. So that's, we all just decided on uh, the 13th, which would be great. Um, like we were talking about the Easter egg hunt yesterday. I'm so glad I went with 5,000 eggs because I think everyone, but one boy who got confused where, what line he should be in. And he came to me in tears and he didn't have any eggs in the bucket. And then Jim was able to find uh another child uh, ten dollars yeah <laughs> that was like so he gave him eggs and everything was fine but i mean i saw kids coming out with buckets most like they did really 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 well so i think if i stay ahead like i did right after i finished christmas i jumped to easter and i er ordered early i think if i continue to do that then i could just stay ahead of it and people aren't scrambling last minute um okay like half of them i stuffed myself and then half of them were like pre-filled and the pre-filled ones are almost the same amount of price to get between time doing them or not so i'll have to i'll have to look at that for next year um walter's labor's free though <laughs> yes 100 yes, percent. I, I was um, also gonna say that um Christian was telling me like for the National Honor Society that now, so what is this March that they just told them they needed to have like more hours or something, yes. which is probably why there was 19, which was like the most ever, you know, that we've had. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, if something like that comes up, like he alter serves, so he gets extra hours, but like he goes, I don't know what people are going to do because like they're graduating and like, 40 day, you know, like it's so, or at last day of school, you know? So if you need something like that, I mean, I used, when I did those bananagrams for MCAS, like I'd have my Girl Scout troop come over and we'd be done like in a half hour, an hour, you know, like. I have most of them coming over for um, okay. the race. And yeah. then, I mean, I, I don't know where those extra hours came up, but I've been in contact with the honor society and the key club since school started. Hi, Steve. Okay. So I'm not sure. Um, I know uh, Lindsay Roberts had reached out to me to get specific event details yeah. and I sent them to her. So I'm not sure if that was a school change at the last minute. I'm not sure. Yeah. But it was weird because I was like, but it's good for the future, you know, at least to know, like they, there should, I'm trying to think of the group, like Christian has a pretty good grade for volunteers, you know, mm -hmm. but there should be some others. And the next, uh, the next, the juniors, um, is pretty solid as well. The sophomores is going to be a little bit trickier. 
So Jim is going to um, place me in the school for two days a week. I think that's what, that's what I you think said. that's reasonable. Two days a week to uh, start to get to know the younger the younger tribes coming through. Um, so I can keep this this going. Yeah, we'll put you in the school two days a week, and then we'll just continue your office hours through the weekend. Does that work for you? Oh, hundred percent. I mean. Doesn't matter to me. It's fine. I, please don't punch me when I see you. <laughs> Weeknights too. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to read, does that. Read, yeah. In addition to pick up ball. I'm going to pick a ball from here. Um. So yeah, the Easter egg hunt was. I people were very, very, very happy, which made me really happy. So, and I'm so glad that I changed it. Yes. So. Um, I got home from work today and my wife said, well, let me just tell you how my day went. Oh. And in, instead of some of their normally program stuff, they had every kid that um, went come up and they had to talk about their favorite thing. They, w not, oh. they weren't asked to do this. The children asked if they could do this oh. and they spent 20 minutes with all the kids talking about their favorite part of the Easter um, event yesterday. And they could not say enough good things. And they had a blast. And she said probably 90% of the kids that she had in class were there. Wow. That's great. I wonder so, what they were. Cause I know when they were going up to the stage, I could hear like where I was standing. Um, they were being asked, how many eggs did you get? And I think like they loved them. And someone would be like, I got 15 eggs or I got 20 eggs. And like, it, it was really cute. Um, you know, obviously I was roaming around everywhere, but um, that's great. That's awesome. Did they say what they liked the best? Did Was there a general consensus? Hold on one second. So go get mom. Please. Well, I didn't know if you got that part of the story. I didn't get that part. I, I see. I'm not a specifics guy. I just like the. Gen I live in generalities. Okay. And uh, what what was the specific favorite parts? Um, the stuff in the eggs, and it wasn't even just the candy. It was like the stickers, and there was like some smiley face things, and the Easter bunny. They just loved it. I had a great time. Did you I hear that? I did. Thank yeah. You, man. So, uh, and I, again, I know Diane just said it, but I've never seen that many volunteers ever. So that is all in part to you and your relationships that you have with these kids. So yeah. that's why I think you should go back to the school a couple of days a week. Keep those okay. relationships going. Well, and also the teachers, right? Like, I mean, yeah. the meaning also the relationship you have with the teachers too, yep. you know, because I think we were venting a little last night about like, previous people who you know didn't get specifics to the teachers or very last minute and we struggled we struggled because the kids didn't want to help out yep yes now I I'm telling them they cannot graduate and I'm trying to hold them back or asking them if they want to come back if they're going right. to closer colleges and stick around so right um, we'll see but it, it it'll be great we'll we'll have a a good um turn out for the rest of this year and most of next year too um and if i mean i try i still like if there's school events at hopkins i still try to hop over um to keep you know to like visit but i haven't done that as of recent just because i've been so busy but i think maybe in the fall um i'll reach out to april and see if I, I can like do some reconnecting or maybe even open house or something like that. I don't know. There's lots of opportunities. I just have to kind of circle in um, with her, I think, or maybe even Annie, I could ask Annie at our department head meetings. Steve, did you want to add anything? You're muted. We can't hear you. <laughs> no. You're muted. 
push the button. Oh, God. Press the space bar if you're on a computer. Oh, my God. I'll tell you, it is hard on the cell phone if that's what he's on. <laughs> <laughs> small screen okay fat fingers all right moving on uh the chamber of <laughs> yeah you <laughs> move on, move on, move on. no he's saying his cuckoo i think <laughs> thanks for your input steve thank you <laughs> turning into charades i think <laughs> oh it's just monday so the chamber event was was really fun um I didn't realize how fun pins is. They they closed off the whole like bar area. The only thing that were, was not available to us was the bowling. So people could do the axe throwing. They could do the ping pong. They could do, um, what else did they have? Their pool. Um, so there was a lot of people. I think there was like um, around 60 or 70 people, um, which is was really good, they said. Um, obviously their biggest one is coming up, which is the Margarita Madness. Um, so I had a nice little table and I was talking to a lot of people about the race and sports and I made some good connections with, um, like if I didn't want to use local printers there, I met a printer who he volunteers for the chamber, um, and his business is out of East Long Meadow, I think he said. So it was really nice. Um, it was nice to connect. There was a, a bunch of townspeople from my building here, which was great. And they all came to support me, which was really nice. And um, yeah, it was really, it was nice. I never, I hadn't been to a chamber event in a really long time, but I also had never been to one where like, I was like the spotlight. So they said some nice things about Hadley Park and Rack and um, they did some drawings and I did a drawing. And actually, Joan Zusko uh, won the basket that I put together. So that was fun. Um, so I got to bring it back to work the next day and uh, give it to Joan because she had left. So overall, that was really fun. I think um, that got some good information out there um, for people who don't necessarily have young kids or don't, I don't know, don't really spend time over this way or whatever. Um, so that was great. It sounds Aiden. like a good event. I wish yeah. I could have made that personally. Um, I think that would have been a great thing all around. But is that something like that you think you'll go to annually or like how do I they? I don't know. Because I, I when Claudia was still in the part of the chamber, she's the one mm -hmm. who said, you know, we would really like to spotlight you. So I don't really know how they picked yeah. me. Yeah. So I, I met um, the person who runs, she's the activities coordinator for the mall. And so I was talking with her and she was, she said something and I was like, Oh, I said, it was so nice for the Amherst chamber of commerce to pick me. And she's like, actually I did. And I was like, Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I just assumed that it was the chamber. Cause I never heard yeah. Yeah. otherwise. And I just said, how did you like, how did you pick Hadley park and rec? And she yeah. said that years ago they used to do events yeah at the mall with Hadley Park and Rec so they would like do it like in the food court or have like um uh I don't even know the example she she said but she said I don't know maybe it was when Kathy was here I'm not I, sure or Jenny. I'm wondering yeah I'm thinking it could have might have could have might have been the um for a while they were trying to do a farmer's market I can't yeah, remember if it really sure. yeah so but, I told her that, you know, I'd be open to do, you know, anything if she has activities that she wants to do or things that, you know, we can connect with. I mean, they have space. Yeah. You know, it's, a, it's a fun place. There's lots of things to do. So um, I'm going to circle back and reach um, back to her once the road race is over and see maybe she has something we can do in the summertime for like in a, a summer event, like, I don't mm -hmm. know, an ice cream night or I don't know, something yeah. fun for the kids so that was I, that was a good connection but I guess I, that's, did, I don't know she just picked me picked I did up. last week when it was really I mean it's still really cold well not right now but 
when it was really cold, I mall walked. Yes, I admitted that I mall walked. Um, but I told my mom, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go walk the mall with, you know, my friend. And um, she said that there was something in the paper, which I missed this, um, that the whole mall is going to be turned into condos or something. So I don't this know when. Mall? Yeah, the Hampshire Mall. So I haven't, really? I haven't, I mean, she reads the paper and she kind of funnels stuff to me and was telling me that I guess that they're looking at that. I don't know when, but I will tell you the mall was, I mean, granted it was freezing that night, but it was totally dead. Totally, totally dead. Like all the, the chain things were coming down at like seven and I'm like, Oh wow. And I've seen some hustle and bustle on Facebook on like that Hadley forum or somewhere where people are saying people just aren't shopping as much at stores, you know? And yeah. um I was like, wow, that kind of hits home tonight when I'm, you know, walking in a dead, like we own them all, you know, wow. at 630 at night, you know, 730. But anyways, but I still think like in whatever capacity they'll do it, maybe mm -hmm. not at pins or maybe pins will move outside the mall or whatever, you know, because that, that does seem like a fun venue, you know, mm -hmm. for that. I mean, I know, families, yeah. I know families that, you know, they, they, when it's like raining or whatever and they go to pins, but I know like, it can be like a financial burden too. Cause it, yes. is, it right. is expensive to spend like even a couple hours there. I know right. they, they say it's like hundreds and oh, like yeah. hundreds of dollars. So, um, but yeah, I mean, this woman, she was, she was very, very nice and seemed like she wanted to maybe get draw Ooh. back into the mall. So we'll oh, see. Maybe, maybe that can happen. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Amy. For what? Oh, you're welcome. I just remembered. So I sent Sully out to grab it. Oh, I was like, sure. Um, so yeah, that was that was fun. Um excuse me. Uh did yeah. they did they close down the um the roller skating a while ago? No. Oh, no, they were they were they were walking in there with their rollerblades the other night. Yeah, because I remember before Kathy um during um february and then spring break when it was nasty it was in mucky march or whatever um i know my kids used to go and they they would uh park and rec did something for the class you know they'd ask or a certain age group you know that i think oh. it was more like fifth fifth sixth grade when they could be dropped off unsupervised and they'd have a couple chaperones there you know oh, um and yeah. i remember I'm, i remember liam and the groups going out um nick and jupe and zach and all those guys um that's what Park and Rec did over there. I know for for sure because I can remember going in and then going down and getting pizza with them. But uh, it was a long that, time ago. That's not a bad idea though, Steve. No, it because isn't. Sully's been to two birthday parties there in the past month. Yep, and they had a blast. Yep, like yeah. you know, get them in the door if we could get like a, a discounted rate or something during vacation. I don't know if we got a group in there. That's all. Something to think yeah. about. Yeah, for sure. That might be a good summer, uh, summer thing to do since I don't have a lot going on before soccer, except for um, my last thing on the agenda um, that will take up all of my summer. But um, no, I'll definitely reach out to her, the person I I met that night, and maybe she could help do something like get that started. That would be, cool. that would be fun. Yeah. Um. I touched upon T-ball. Steve, I don't think you're here. I'll just go through it again. I'm going to start T-ball on the 13th, um, 9 a.m. I have four coaches. It's all nice. set to go. I think I have 33 kids for T-ball. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, I Holy just cow. Their shirts today with the race shirts because everything came in at once. Um, they're so cute. And they're just going to be adorable. So my plan is I'm going to going to be there on the first day. Um, I had everybody register online and I did a digital waiver form. So I'm trying to get away from paper. So everything is online, which is super helpful. Um, and, you know, I'll hand out the uniforms and things like that. I'm going to try to not go every Saturday because there's four coaches and they really don't need me. So unless there's some reason for them 
wanting me there or needing me there. Um, I'm not going to go every Saturday like I've done for every single sport, every single season. Um, and I'll have, obviously I'll have the little party at the end for them because they're adorable and they deserve it because they work so hard. Um, so that will be great. Um, good numbers, great coaches, super helpful. Um, and everyone seems to love it. The, um, and the fields will be, that's, that'll be great. That's I'm skipping again, but I'll go to the Turka park and then I'll go to the fields. Um, so I think I mentioned at the last meeting we had that I had a resident call and complain about the Turka park being a dog park. So it seems to be those four signs that I bought on Amazon worked tremendously because she called probably, mm, probably like two or three weeks ago and left me a really nice message saying, thank, so thankful that I did that. And she walks there every day. And she says that it seems like maybe it was the, the one offender or multiple offenders. They seem to see that it's being like proactive and like, it's not going to become like a dog park um, wasteland. So that was great. And I also got good news today. Um, I applied for a grant because we had talked about that trash can going up there. And I was going back and forth with it. And I got a grant to pay for the one that the DPW specifically wants there, which is $800 for a trash can. So... I got a grant for this that specific trash can and it's in the process. Um, I don't know if it's they're gonna actually buy the trash can. I don't have the specifics yet. It's just got the news that I was awarded the grant. So awesome. when I get more specifics, I don't know if they're gonna order it and have it delivered. If they if they're doing that, then I'll have it shipped to the, the DPW and the guys can bring it up. Or if I'm ordering it, then I'll just be in touch with Scott and we'll figure out how he wants to do it from there. But I think that would be good and it could be bad. I'm not sure. It's kind of like, it's like a gamble. Like I had spoke with Scott McCarthy, the director about before, um, you know, when they put trash cans over by um, Dawson's Park by the dike and then it just became like a random dumping ground for people's household trash. He's like, it's you win, you lose, like you don't have it. And then people just leave, you know, trash on the ground and you put it there and then it's overflowing. So the one good thing I think is we don't have to pay for it. So, and the DPW is willing, if I got that specific one to take the trash away. So it shouldn't be any burden on park and rec at this point. Um, I don't know how long. Where's the grant from? From Walmart actually. Yeah. And, they're actually, um, they're very, again, I don't know how I kind of just like reached out and I actually got a contact person who's like, sort of like in charge of this area. And she's actually going to do have like a little crew, they want to do something for Earth Day. So that's uh, April 22nd, I believe this year. Um, so she wants to go to I was like, we could go to the park, we could go along the dike, we could go, you know, those are really kind of the places I was thinking of, thinking of that people use the most. Um, so she's going to be back on April 1st, and I'll reconnect with her. She's also going to do, they're going to donate um, water for a water station. So they're going to sponsor a water station for the road race. So they seem to, I don't know, this person is wonderful. I haven't met her yet. So I plan to meet her when she comes back. I think she was going away. Um, so that was good news. And is she local or is she a regional person? Or Sounds like she's regional from yeah. the... We've just been speaking via email. So it sounds like from her title, like her signature, that she's yeah. regional. But yeah. she seems... She's very... Like when I've been getting sponsors, like say... I have my board. Say LL Bean. I filled out like a six page donation request. And yeah. it like, I feel like it just kind of like goes into the Enough. cloud and you never hear back. Mm -hmm. So when I heard from this person, I was like, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, it's too good to be true. Cause you know, yeah. it's huge. So yeah. she's been actively 
you know, emailing me back and forth. So I know it's like not just right. Full time. So it's Ooh, great. Good job on the grant. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. And then the softball fields are coming along They're Thanks to Jim helping me with questions that I don't know about. Um, they're out there working. These guys are awesome. They're so nice. They're helpful. They're diligent. I hear them starting at 10 of seven every morning. They're mindful of the kids. They're just, they're, they're awesome. Like if we could have them for every town project, I would just, I don't know. I don't know if you've, you've got that impression too, Jim, but Mike is just like awesome. Yeah. I, I went and talked to him for a few minutes when I went to get those pictures and video and, uh, he couldn't have been nicer and he's like you know told me everything that they'd done and um we he told me that the owner or the somebody whoever is in charge of something there is going to come and do the bases himself personally because he's done and, that in the past yeah um, to make sure that they're done properly um and what else um that they would be out of there by Monday and the field construction would be done, but then the fencing would be done after that. And Suzanne said that she saw a hasty fence truck yeah. out there today. Yeah. The hasty um, was there today. Yeah. So, I mean, it may be moving faster than I thought because I thought he said after they were done with the fields, but it, in conjunction with is even better. Yeah. So it looks like the projection date was April 1st, correct? Right? Yeah. It could be done. So, I mean, I know they'll be done by then, if not sooner, which is which is awesome. I think I gave them till April sixth. Sixth, yeah, you you did sixth. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think they're going to be done <laughs> sooner than that, no matter what. Cool. Yeah, I think that little rain, not little, the tons of rain that we got on Saturday. I, yeah. I guess it, it didn't affect them because they were out there working today, which was is awesome. Yeah, so that will be that will be really nice. I sent. I don't know. I reached out to Mara and sent her some pictures because I don't know if she's able to get over there and see what's going on. But um, I got in touch with her just to let her know. So she was really excited and thankful. Yeah, I sent her the aerial pictures and uh, she was in France, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. She didn't get back to me until after that. But Okay. So. That's great. And Stephen Diane, you know that they it, one of the things that Amy called me about was they no longer have the red play. Um, and so they have natural colored, so it's gray. So we've got two fields oh, red awesome. and two fields gray. Okay. Nice. But that doesn't that Amy said, Well, uh, what do you want to do? And I said, We're not gonna it's outside of the contract. We're not gonna have them truck something in from New York. Right. So yeah. just go with what they have and you know, let's let's get it done. And she's they said perfect. They they because they were at Delta when they called Amy. Yeah. And said, oh. oh, they don't have the rent. What do you want us to do? <laughs> I so. can hear them beeping, beeping, beeping. And I'm like, oh, are you getting ready to get loaded? And he's like, yes, I need an answer. I'm like, oh, can you give me 30 seconds? I'm pretty sure Jim will pick up. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was it was really nice. So, I mean, I guess Delta stopped making it years ago. Um, mm. Ed, the owner, actually called me after. And he found out why, because I think it bothered him like not knowing like why mm. I guess they just stopped making it because people, a lot of people aren't using the red uh, mix anymore for some reason. I'm yeah. Sure. But they, they need a bunch for fields one and two. So they are, they stockpiled, I guess I haven't been to look, but they were going to stockpile a bunch of the clay so they could use them on field one and two and they didn't have to truck it out of there. So it was a win-win for, you know, Cal Ripken and for them because they didn't have to truck it out of there. They had to go 200 yards to the pile in the corner of the parking lot and dump it there. So. Yeah, that would be great. Um, And I didn't ask, but am I supposed to be doing like a open ceremony or something for these fields? I think that, well, I, I think we should talk about that. That was one of the things that I wanted to talk about tonight that I forgot to let, let you know within 24 hours, 48 hours. Um, but I think we need to let invite Dan Carey on opening day. I think we can do it in conjunction with that. Are you talking with about opening? Cal Ripken opening day? 
Yeah. And that's at the end of April. I'm getting it confused. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, and I think we need, you know, we if we could send out an invitation, I'll get you the address um, where you need to send it to. But I think just to invite him quickly an in and out on a, on that Saturday morning, just to, you know, thank him for getting us the money. And he's also running for, he's going to be running for Harry spot. Um, oh, so wow. he get his name out there and, uh, you yeah. know, let people yeah. know what he helped us do. Is it April 27th? That's a great question. Okay. I think I, th it's the last Saturday in April, I think. Right. Suzanne opening day, April 27th. I have no idea. All right. I don't even think they've told us that yet. Yeah, I, 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 I think she's right. I don't think they've told us yet. Let's see. Okay, just let me know, and then uh, as soon as they know, I can get that out. Maybe he can throw out the first pitch. That would yeah. be wonderful. <laughs> yep, yep. And obviously, we'll have the softball girls there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always there. Yep. Yeah, so I can do that, no problem. Um, that'd be fun to have him around. Um, other than that, let's see, upcoming. So my next two weeks or weekend, a few days, will be focusing on uh, the 5K, which is going along really well. I'm still picking up uh, a couple last minute sponsorships that have come in, which um, are great either for raffle prizes, or I think um, I might've secured another monetary donation donation from a bank. I have to, I have to follow up with that tomorrow. Um, so I've met with, I had to go on the planning board meeting um, last week. So I've met with, uh, so it's building fire department, board of health, and police department and a bunch of other people. There was like 12 of us on this meeting. And so everything for the race is covered because I have to have um, what's called an incident action plan in case there's a natural disaster or active shooter, all of that. So all of that is in place. I'm in constant communication. Um, Mitch Cook is going to be my go-to person for the race. And they are going to volunteer all of their time. So none of the police or fire services will cost anything. So I will have to do something for them because that is, that's tremendous. Um, yeah. I have to get the day of where I need people that plan in place, but I have, that's like the last thing I have to do. Cause I'm, I just, I'm going to, I have a lot of other things I have to like pinpoint. Um, so I, I'll have that soon and then I can send it out to you all. Um, and yeah, it's, it should be, it should be great. And that is rain or shine. Like it, even if it's pouring, it's happening because runners will run in the rain. So this is an event that is not, well, can't be canceled. Um, so that's, that's good. I've learned a lot from planning a 5k. It's, it's very extensive, but, um, I think if I can keep it going, I think it'll be a great thing to have it uh, continue each year. Um, and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm going to be closing registration for that. I think uh, on April 3rd is going to be the last day I can have people register. I have to talk to Racewire and confirm that tomorrow. So I'm pushing it online and on the area community pages, I've asked them if they can post it and they just approve it and then they post it on their social media pages as well. So I'll be I'll be advertising that this week. Um, and then plans for summer, I'm thinking about I might do well, like I talked about, if the mall is available, that's going to be super helpful because you know, as you know, the schools are constantly being worked on and different wings they start on in different phases, depending on, you know, summer school and things like that. So I'm kind of, kind of limited to school. Um, so I'm, I'm still working on that. I have the library too, which I could do some day things and kind of 
collaborate with them, which is good. Um, so that's, that's still kind of like up in the air a little bit. Um, after this, the soccer camp, which I'll leave to last is over, then I might be able to do some, uh, like the water days and things like that. Um, I might do just like a couple, a couple things like that. Um, and then the only change coming up will be starting April 3rd, uh, adult basketball league is going to Tuesday nights, um, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, Christopher is, is not available on Wednesday nights because of a school commitment. So I would like to continue to be able to give him those hours. And um, it's also becoming, uh, as Jim can contest to, there's um, a lot of people that are coming, which is good, but it's also, it's been an interesting kind of um, divide where it's like, there's like over, sometimes there's like over 20 people coming. So it's kind of put a little bit more use on the school than they're used to. Um, so I'm thinking it might, the change of night, some people might not be able to make it and I can scale it back down a little bit. Um, or I might just go and do what I've done for Pickleball and make them sign up on this free app that I use. And I put it out the Wednesday or Tuesday, the week before, and it's first come first serve and 20 people. I mean, I can do 20 for pickleball cause I have three courts, but I, I could do whatever, 15 people for basketball. And yeah. then, and then if you're not on the list, you don't come in. Um, so I'm toying with that. I'm going to see how Tuesday nights go once that starts. Um, not this week, but next week will be the first trial on that. And I was getting ahead of myself with thinking that I might add another pickleball night this year, but this year is flying and it's already like going to be April. So I'm not sure if I can pull it off, but since all the little kids sports will be moving outside and I have enough interest, um, I might add a Thursday night pickleball night. I'm not sure. Um, I've been talking to Jeff about it. I've talked to Christopher about it, if he's available, things like that. If people are interested, if they can make it that night. Um, so there's a lot of variables. Um, if that could happen, I might just do it for May and June and then figure out the fall schedule um, once school is up and running and we can get back into school. And last is, I don't know if everyone knows Chris Montero, has ever met him, talked with him, all the above. So he is coming to town. He's coming for two weeks um, for his summer soccer camp. Um, I explained to him he had reached out to me a couple weeks ago um not really asking just kind of like telling me that he needs to meet with me so I told him that I really didn't have time um until like the easter egg hunt was over and possibly the race was over but I got an email this morning uh early and he really is pushing to meet with me this week because he has, I don't know, I think questions or ideas or things that he's going to need. It could be all of the above. Um, he says he only needs about 15 or 20 minutes of my time, which I'm kind of skeptical because I've never just gotten 15 to 20 minutes of my time with him. So I'm going to respond to him tomorrow. Um, I all, I do have a couple people that I am meeting with about the race, like Mike Romano. He wants to help out um, and things like that. So I have some things that are ahead of him. So, Jim, I don't know. Do you want to? I don't know how to 
uh, delay this meeting till you know I what really, you can do? really do have time? Tell them to call me. Okay. Does that work for you? That takes it right off your plate. I think he, for some reason, wants to meet in person. You can call me. Okay. You know, I, I mean, we're not at his beck and call. I know. Um, by we, I mean you. And you have stuff. You explained to him clearly in that email that you responded to him with and waited till, you know, the Easter event is this date. And then she gets into work and there's an email as soon as she gets in. And it's like, you know, pump the brakes a little bit here. We have more that I know that this is his sole thing that he has to focus on. But she has 30 balls in the air, not one. And if if it would be easier for you, because I don't mind, you know, there's a lot of things I don't mind. And mm -hmm. if you want to just say, listen, you know, I literally don't have time right now to meet in person. I've got X, Y, and Z to do. And I've only got a certain amount of time to do it. And I need my focus needs to be there instead of something that's in August, July and August. Mm -hmm. So if it's something you need immediately, please feel free to call Jim. You know, we've talked to him and that's fine. And I won't commit to anything. I'll put it all down in writing. And when I talk to you, I'll send you an email. Okay. And so that way you have everything. Okay. I will do that tomorrow and um, yeah, and we'll go from there. All right. That's all I have. Um, the race, like I said, is that will be, that's going to be keeping me busy um, for the next couple of weeks. And then it'll be T-ball right after that. I know you haven't figured out where you need people or anything yet, but I can do things other than just taste the hot dogs. Yes. Before people yes. eat. I will have uh I will have the to do list and posts and all of that drawn up as soon as I have this other meeting um with the police department. Perfect. So I, do we still have do we still have access, obviously, behind the school for parking and then across the street for parking? The overflow will go to the other side of the safety complex. Yep. Not, it, yep. it won't be across the street, I don't believe. So it'll be, and that's uh, when they register on RaceWire, that's, it's put in there where the extra overflow of parking will be. So they'll just go. Okay walk up through the field and come up that way. Yep. Yep. That's yeah, crazy. We were, we were a mile and a half away from the finish line for the uh, St. Patrick's day race. And we saw a couple of people jogging by us on their way to the starting line. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So there's, there's one that they do on the vineyard and they literally bus the people to the start line just because you know you have to park so far out yeah um okay. the other thing i was going to bring up was um the the person who might replace steve i think like the only it wasn't anything personal like i wouldn't know this person if they were at the event yesterday or if i saw them at my door you know i wouldn't it's just um, with Mother's Club, we had firsthand experience where like we were inviting people to candidates night and um, one of the candidates shared the Mother's Club post to their um, fundraising page or their promotional page for the, the office they were running for. And it wasn't, again, it wasn't anything personal with that person either, but it was it could have been really misconstrued as we were promoting that person and i mean i know this was for a meeting but it still is public so that just because like we've been kind of bitten <laughs> by that with mothers club in the past i was that's the only reason why i brought that up amy 
Yeah, that's true. It was not like truly, I don't know him, <laughs> you know, like it wasn't wasn't really for any other reason. Like I don't know we're recorded, but I mean I'm saying the truth. So, <laughs> you know, it mm -hmm. was just yeah. didn't wanna didn't wanna have it construed as, oh well, Park and Rec already has their replacement and look, you know, this is the name they're touting. I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, we're always happy to get people. So, you know, mm -hmm, for sure. Not, but. That's so, all. Diane, real quick, yeah. can we take Steve out uh, before four and a half years? Oh. <laughs> Steve might not show up wait? except like, for yeah. two hours late. Like getting into I, the I've hall. I've become very busy. i become very busy all of a sudden. <laughs> well, as long yeah. as he commits to being on time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's been troublesome lately. <laughs> we'll just talk to That's his wife and we'll kidnap him. Yeah. 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 Cool. So what I forgot how that I forgot even timing of all that. So is it the voting is is now delayed, isn't it? I believe it's pushed back till Is it May? Yeah, May to June. Yeah. Something like that. And then that person has to go in and sign their papers or something. Yeah, papers. I think people are getting their papers signed now and they have to be yep. in by the 29th, I believe. Okay. And what's what would be the the their first day? When would Steve be done? I don't July know. July 1st? January 1st. No idea. Um, If they go on fiscal year, then July 1st. If they go on calendar year, January 1st. That's a good question. I can ask Jessica. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that may matter for meetings and voting and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah, I'll I can I'll email her tomorrow and ask her. Okay. And then um I went to the Mothers Club meeting last week and you know, I think did they let you know about like the snacks? Like they we voted to get snacks and then um me and the water station. I know you I know Denise has the email, so Yeah, she uh she just she wanted like more details, so I gave her more details, but that okay. was before the meeting so i haven't yeah. talked to her after the meeting yet so yeah she brought the she brought the map she talked about helping out and then she um we took a vote and voted to get the um the snacks i think that you'd like something to go with the hot dogs basically i think is what it sounded like that yeah simple prepackaged yeah, I think we look, you know, someone had a Costco's membership and said, well, we can go down there. And we were actually looking, everyone was looking at their Costco's app online about buying stuff. So, okay, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I can email her any other information that she needs. But I think um, she knows where whoever is going to set up yeah. and stuff like that. So. Yeah. That would be great. Okay. Cool. Um, and other than that, that's all I have on my agenda. Yeah. Perfect. Thank Good. you. You're welcome. What do we want to do for next date? Um, let's see. Anything after the 13th of April works for me. I'm on like April 29th. Fine with me. That sounds good. Yep. Does wow, first day. 30 work? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So I will um, ask Jessica tomorrow and then I'll email mm -hmm. all of you about. Uh, your date, Steve. Oh, sure. Thank you. Welcome. 
Will we do 5.30 again or? If that's okay. Yeah. As long as you didn't mind me chewing, chewing my food during it. <laughs> I'll remind everybody. Um, quick thing, like if we're, like I'm still in this middle of, am I running or fast walking, doing the race or not? I mean, like, is there anything you see, like, besides a presence for us being at the race? Like any need outside of that, just kind of showing face type thing? Yeah, the biggest thing I think depending on how many kids I have is um, so the, obviously the roads get blocked off as, you know, as the runners are coming through. Oh, yeah. So um, if I have enough kids, I, I don't have a sheet right in front of me, but if I have enough people to block off the roads, then that frees up like one of the cruisers to kind of just like keep on moving. So that's where I'm going to like kind of, uh center most of my help on is kind of like with the roads ish okay um and mike has uh fire mike has enough like safety vests and extra things like that so it's like very safe um okay. and i mean usually the timing of it is is short um like their services are probably needed for maybe maybe 45 minutes or so so as soon as the race is done or, yeah like you know, and obviously if an emergency comes up in the town sure. is depleted or something like that, um, you know, they have to go. But um, yeah, I have to meet with them one more time with just police and fire and go over final details. But um, we should be good to go. Okay. Yep. And then I'll just, I'm putting together all the prizes that were donated and that I'll be doing that um, between this week and the beginning of next week. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Sounds great. Yes. Good stuff. Yes. Okay. So the next meeting will be on 29. 4 29 24 at 5 30 p.m. And this meeting is adjourned at 6 27. 28.